be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. And be glad in Him. Shall we begin to lift our voice and begin to thank the Lord for today? This is the day the Lord has made for us to be glad and rejoice. Today is the day of the Lord. Today is the second day of the convention. We are so grateful to the Lord. We want to lift our voices and begin to thank Him. We want to thank Him for the gift of life, for the gift of salvation, for the gift of power, for the gift of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. The Lord has brought us here again. The Lord is about to do a new thing. Therefore, I want you to give thanks to Him. I want you to thank the Lord for who has made us day. He has given us life. He has given us grace. He has shown us mercy. He has brought us together. This covering is unto the Lord. Father, we are grateful unto you for the gift of life, for preservation. You have been our portion in the whole night, O oh Lord. This morning, we ascribe all glory and honor and adoration unto you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We are grateful, grateful, grateful unto you. We thank you for the highest heaven. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our leaders. We thank you for the nations. We thank you for everything, for the breath of life. Father, we are grateful. We thank you, Lord, for what you are about to do what you are beginning in the midst of your people. That's what we say. Glory, hallelujah, be unto your name. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we are grateful. Yet our sin. We give you praise. We give you honor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You are about to do something new in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the grace, for grace, for mercy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Another day has yesterday is gone. Another day has come to something new.
one more time and begin to tell the Lord to do something great in your life today. Yesterday is gone. Today is another day. You want the Lord to visit you in a very special way. You want to bless his name. You want to thank him. Shall we pray? God, do something new in my life today. This is another day, Lord. Won't just you do something new in my life? Do something great in my life. Do something marvelous in my life. Do something beautiful in my life. Do something strange in my life. Do something extraordinary in my life. I need something new today. I'm not going back the same. I need you, Lord. I need something new. Bless me new. Refresh me. Give me all it takes, oh Lord. Something great. Something beautiful. Something powerful. Something excellent. Do something new. Something new. new. We also want to pray to invite the fellowship of the Holy Ghost. This is what we need. We are having a Holy Ghost conference. And therefore we need fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Therefore I want you to pray. That Lord I want to fellowship with you today. Give me the unction to fellowship with you today. I don't want to leave those places the same. I want to be empowered. I want to see new things. I want the eyes of my understanding to be, uh, to be open. Give me a new vision for today. Shall we lift our voices and pray for fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We are praying for fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. Lord, for fellowship today, Spirit divine, connect us to yourself. We want to be connected to you. We want to be in tune with you. We want to have fellowship with you, sweet fellowship with you. This morning, your people are before you. Your children are before you. Father, we have come. Spirit divine, Spirit divine, connect us to you. Connect us to you. Connect us to you. Connect us to you. We want to experience you as never before. We want to have you. We want to experience you. We want to have intimacy with you. Today is the day. Oh Lord, we'll lift ourselves unto you. Father, we want to thank you that you are in our midst and you do something new. This morning, Spirit Divine, have your way. Have your way in the lives of your people. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Fellowship with your people. Fellowship with our young ones. Fellowship with everybody. We want to have intimacy with you. Spirit divine. Yes, Lord, we want to have fellowship with you, fellowship with you, fellowship with you, fellowship with you. Yes, Lord. We are praying for fellowship, for fellowship. We want to have an intimate relationship with you. Lord, it's all about fellowship. Yes, we want to have fellowship with you. Fellowship with you. Fellowship with you. Fellowship with you. Fellowship, fellowship. fellowship. Amen. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 11. If the spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead, if he is in you, he will quicken your mortal being. So this morning we are praying for the Holy Ghost power to quicken our mortal beings, to give us fresh vision, to give us fresh knowledge, understanding. He should put life into our spirit today. Shall we pray for the spirit to quicken us this morning? Father, we lift ourselves before you. We are praying, O oh Lord, for the quickening of the Holy Ghost. Spirit divine, we want you to fill our minds, fill our hearts, O oh Lord, with new light, with new revelation, with new knowledge. We want to have you. We want to experience you in another dimension, O oh Lord. So this morning, we we'll lift our voices unto you. We pray, O oh Lord, committing every bow into your hands. Father, breathe upon us anew. Breathe upon us afresh. Lord, visit us in a very special way. Quicken every mortal being. 
Put life, 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 life in us today. Put life in us today. Ignite your fire in us, O oh Lord. May we not live this place the same. May we not live this place the same. May we have an experience, an encounter with you. This morning, have your way. 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 Holy Ghost. Do we need a Do we need a In my life. Open my eyes. To see Jesus. We will be in Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 the Bible says John the Baptist told his disciples I baptize you with water the one who is coming after me I'm not even worthy to untie his shoe he is going to baptize you with fire and the spirit this morning pray for the baptism of the Holy Ghost that the Lord will baptize you with fire he will give you a new spirit he will grant you energy he will give you power again to go out and do exploit for the Lord. Shall we pray for the Holy Ghost baptism? Baptize us with fire and with power. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying this morning. Today, O oh Lord, baptize each and every one of us with fire and with power. We don't want to live those place the same. We want to be empowered. We want to be strengthened. We want to be encouraged. We want to be, we want life. We want new life, new life, new life, new life. Therefore, quicken our mortal being. Baptize us with fire, O oh Lord. Baptize us with your spirit, O oh Lord. Lift burdens, O oh Lord. We are not living this place the same. We want to have fresh visitation, O oh Lord. Visit your people. Visit your church. In Jesus' name. Shall we please be seated? Father, we just want to thank you one more time. Indeed, this is the day the Lord you have made for us to be glad and rejoice. Indeed, we are going to rejoice because of the presence of the Holy Ghost. We want to pray and ask you to have your way. Without you, we cannot do it. Therefore, have your way in a special way. Be present with each and every one of us. And at the end of it all, we have the reason to rejoice and say, thank you, Father. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise okay. God. Praise the Lord. Oh, you can do better than this. You are doing it for the Holy Spirit. You, you are doing it for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. This morning, there is going to be a supernatural move of the Holy Ghost fire. And I want you to prepare yourself and catch something. Hallelujah. Please, please, please. The dancers is not full. So we are pleading with our sisters, our mothers upstairs there, the galleries. Please move down and fill the empty spaces for us. Please, please, please. Those in the galleries, please kindly move down. 
Our dear brothers, help us in this way. Yes. Fill the empty spaces for us. God bless you for your understanding and your obedience. We are waiting for you people. Whilst we are waiting for them to settle, we want to recite our theme for this conference. Amen. This theme should be imprinted in our hearts. So please, you say after me. Reposition the local church. The power is there. We have invited the Holy Spirit. So it's with us. Let's say it with power. Amen. Repositioning the local church. Through the manifestation of the Holy Spirit power. Okay. Thank you. So please, we want to do this. This exercise. Our mothers, our sisters will be upstanding and say, repositioning the local church. Then our fathers, our brothers will respond through the manifestation of the Holy Spirit power. Amen. So our mothers, our sisters, ready? Go. Through the manifestation of the Holy Spirit power. Please be part of what we are doing. Amen. Uh -huh. Please get seated. We want to do it again. Ready? Go. Our mothers. Through the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Then other power. way around. Other way around. Our fathers are going to say. Yeah. Ready? Go. Repositioning the local church. And give the Holy Spirit a clap of friend. Oh, oh glory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. At this juncture, we want to sing praises unto the Lord. We invite our overseer, Daniel Aka, and his team to lead us. Find me, O oh Lord. Let your spirit lead me. So that I may know your way. Revive me, oh Lord, revive me. Da da da, let your spirit in. Da da da, so that I may know Your way, so that I may, I may know Your way, so that I, yeah yeah yeah. Revive me, Lord, revive me. Ah, let your spirit.
Let's take this announcement. But before the announcement, please, the following people should get ready. COP Canada Choir, get ready. Director, the heat has started. So some people are requesting for water. Unfortunately, the center does not permit us to supply you water here, as we do it in our local churches. So there is fountain uh, water there in the hallway. Yeah, there is places there. So if you want to drink, you feel the heat and you want to take water, please, you can go back there and take your water and come and sit down. Today, there is going to be much heat. Hallelujah. So get yourself prepared. Canada, Kwa, COP. As they are coming, youth and Pensa Kwa should get ready. COP Canada Kwa. Shall we give it to them as they are coming? Yeah, they are coming with heat. Oh, glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give a wave offering unto our most high God. Greetings from your cousins in Canada. We are here to just explore and just receive from the Holy Spirit. As we minister this morning, we're asking that your spirits will connect with us as we glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. There is a move of God in There is a touch of God in this room. It's an overflow, overflow. It's an overflow. There is a move of God in this place. Hallelujah. Touch of God in this room. It's an overflow. Overflow. It's an overflow. There is a move. Oh, help me sing. There is a move of God in this place. There is. Flow. 
Canada choir. As youth and pencil choir are coming, French choir, get prepared. Amen. Amen, amen. Just continue to be in the mood. Hallelujah. Just ask the Holy Spirit to empty you and fill you with his spirit. Just begin to pray in tongues, begin to praise him, begin to pray. Say, Holy Spirit, empty me and fill me with your spirit. Empty me and fill me with your spirit. Because we need you, Holy Spirit. We need you. As we sing these songs, allow the Holy Spirit to open your heart. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit.
you believe it, just sing it with us. Sing come, come Holy Spirit. Let your fire, Let your fire oh, come, Holy Spirit. Come, come Holy Spirit. Let your fire, Let your fire. the First Nations, the owner of the land, the owners of the land of Canada, to come and give us a song. And before the song, we'll introduce them. Ron, Pastor Ron, all of you come up. Yeah, praise God. Give a clap of freedom to Jehovah. Amen. Praise. Hallelujah. Call Pastor Amankwa to introduce all of them for us. Praise the Lord. And so, that's um, Pastor Ronnie Netmaker from the Big River First Nation. That is our brother, Pastor Skylar Moses from Pine House, not Butterfield, Saskatchewan. That is a wife, uh, Mrs. Haley, um, Lily, Netmaker, um, Whitefish, and then um, Zakia, um, Blackstar, the Ghana Blackstar um, soccer team. And then that is Sarah Whitefish, that is Harriet um, Netmaker. There are three of them that are delayed, they'll be coming shortly. So, brother, let's grab a mic and then let's do Mamichi Mata. Mami Can I get a mic? Praise the Lord. The Lord inhabits the praises of his people. Surely the Lord is good. We have a, a, a word in our, in our Korean language, which is a, a praise similar to when you say hallelujah. Mamichimatan. Praise, hallelujah, the mighty God. I don't have my guitar. <clears throat> I usually sing in the G chord, probably. We'll sing it first in the English. That way you will know the, the melody and the beat. You sing in Hallelujah. I don't have my guitar. G chord. Hallelujah. 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 
to invite all Spanish blood nations. Come and bring your song. Pure Spanish song. Amen. Spanish. Yes. Evangelist. Argentina. Yahweh, Rafa, Elohim, Shaddai, Jireh, Adonai, Se Manifestara, Oh Yahweh, Yahweh. We Rafa Elohim Shaddai Jiri Adonai Se manifestara Yahweh 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 Yahweh
Baba, please. That was that was our introduction song. So now we are singing the Spanish song. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, me ama, me ama. Yo tengo un amigo que me ama, su nombre es Jesús. Él me ama, él me ama, él me ama con su tierno amor. Dios bendiga. Dios abençoe vocês. Amen. At this juncture, we want to invite COP USA French choir to bring their song. Oh, faites, faites, faites du bruit, faites du bruit dans la maison. Oui, je veux avoir du bruit dans la maison. Oui, oui, du bruit dans la maison. J'invite tous les francophones à venir sur le podium. Gloire au Seigneur, gloire au Seigneur. Gloire au Seigneur. Nous voulons saisir cette opportunité pour dire au président international que la francophonie bouge aux États-Unis. We want to send out your vision. Francophone country in USA. We are traveling. And the fire is burning. The fire is burning in the francophone community. Alléluia. Jésus est bon. Il est bon. Oui, le fils de Dieu.
Only the Holy Spirit can do this. Bringing us from different nations and make us one people, one family. Give it to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend we want to worship God. We invite our brother, Nanaya Boache, to come and lead us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We give glory to God for today. I just want to read something quickly in the book of Psalms 103 verse 1. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives us all our iniquities? Who heals all our diseases? Who redeems us? Who redeems your life from distractions? Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed? like the eagle this morning I just want to think about the blessing of the Lord how God has been merciful to you and your family how God has preserved this vision this church and has brought us this far it can only be the hand of God if God has not done this I don't know who can do this that has taken place today so this morning I just want you to lift up your voice and give glory to Jesus exalt his name Give him praise. He is a great God. He is a great God. We exalt you, Jesus. We magnify you. We love you, Lord. We exalt your name. Oh my God, there is none like you. Great is our Lord and greatly to be praised. Oh, his man this is over. Oh, 
and begin to exalt the name of Jesus in this place. For the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. For the world and they that water in. For he has fallen in upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. He who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity or sworn it deceitfully. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord. Oh, my name was so very Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay. Thank you. Oh, Makari Bahaya. Oh, be lifted. Above. Oh, Lord, say we And worship you. Come on, touch your pentacles. Sing it again. Oh, be lifted. Say, oh, be lifted. Above all other gods, but we lay we and worship you, God. Let me hear the voices. Say, Oh, glorious God, say, Oh. And worship you, God. And sit again, oh glorious God. Oh, oh say, Abaza de Manosos. We lay, we lay. And worship and worship. Oh, glorious God, say, oh.
begin to ponder about the goodness of the Lord. Just ponder about the goodness of the Lord. I want to talk to you tenderly like a father does to his children.
Bema would the one nothing is one nothing is so some one nasty and for or Bema would the canton cost you your custra bookishly. One a year true, Yakuma at two yam or quasi a femu Yesu Christo. This morning we want to give you all the glory. We say that you alone are worthy. For before you and after you, there will never be any other God. We ascribe all the glory and all the honor to you. No man and no deity shall share in your glory. For you are in a class of your own. And this morning we want to reckon that and give you all the praise that you deserve. We lift up our hearts and our voices singing praises and adoration unto your name that you are God all by yourself there is none in your class take all the praise take all the glory take all the honor in Jesus mighty name somebody shout a big amen, amen. God for revealing his heart to us this morning. Brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, please, those who cannot understand the English language well, leadership has provided translators, has organized a set of translators that will help us in the following languages. I can. That is true. Please, if you want to listen or hear the preaching and other things in tree, when you raise up your hand, the people are there. They will give you the set. Chairman, please, I want to say this in the tree language so that they can get it clear. Yes, Remo. Yes, Remo. Yes, Remo. Sanchia mui aya international antino. Yenya yenyan mu bia. Omo ede kasano e free bro fumu ako shimu. Antino unko bebi a bebi a otena ope ya onsa. Omo the machine bebe ma ona di ashwa sum. Na di ekani ni na ano ofufro ebe chira si e ako shimu amau. Afi French, the French people too. The French translator is ready. So please, you can connect to him. Thank you very much. At this juncture, Chairman, we want to invite our sister, Miss Yvonne Anno, to give us a solo. Please, 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 just a minute. Yeah. Before he comes, I do have some messages for us. Shall we call for our director? Hallelujah. Just a recap of the prophetic utterances that were received. There were three. One says that before you set foot here, you said it was your last stop. I want you to know that I have heard you. Today I am releasing goodness. I am a good father. I've opened my bags of goodness. You will be called mother of many and father of many. I have unpacked my grace to my church. I want you to become, then I said, said I have emptied my grace unto my church. The young and old shall see. Then the second one said, I reveal my blood.
Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, amen. This whole room is filled. The amen is not unto me, but is unto the maker of the earth. Come on, amen. amen. This morning, as the worship was going on, my mind went to the story of Elisha and the lady with the jars of oil. And this morning, it just dawned on me that we have come to the Father that gives more than we need. And the prophecy said that we asked for one, but he is giving us more than we have asked for. He said he is allowing us to leave here with bags. I don't know about you, but I have come to encounter Jesus. I have come to encounter the power and the significance of the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, just open your mouth and begin to speak in the language of the Holy Spirit. We did not come to be spectators, but we came to be participants of what He is giving, what He is pouring down.
Holy Spirit is in this house. The owner of the church is here. Jesus. Jesus. presence of the Holy Spirit is here. I want you to sit, prepare yourself even as we going to hear the word of God. Get your Bibles, iPad phones, reposition in your hearts as I introduce to the podium the International Missions Director of our church, Apostle Emmanuel Ajeman Bequen. Church, put your hands together for the Lord. This morning, I want to speak on the topic, the anointing that breaks the yoke. The anointing that breaks the yoke. Two scriptures. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. The King James Version brings out the meaning clearly. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Then we'll also read Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. The anointing that breaks the yoke. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. The King James Version says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. In other versions, it uses the word fat. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Anointing simply means to rub on. Or to smear on. So what is anointing? To rub on. To smear on. With these two scriptures. The purpose of anointing is clear. Number one. Anointing removes burdens. Number two. Anointing destroys yokes. What is a yoke? A heavy metal or wooden material placed around the neck of animals to prevent them sometimes from escaping and to use them for slavery work. So, the metal or the wooden material is heavy in such a way that if you decide to run, you cannot, for it will weigh you down. 
it also restricts you to a slave. From Acts chapter 10 verse 38, the third purpose of anointing is doing good. And lastly, healing those under the power of the devil. So if I am anointed, then it means that burdens must roll away. If I am anointed, then yokes ought to be broken. If I am anointed, then I must go about doing good. If I am anointed, then anyone under the oppression of the devil must be set free and must be healed. I pray in the name of Jesus that every burden here shall be rolled away. Every yoke shall be broken. You will live here doing good. Anyone who is under the oppression of the devil shall be delivered and shall be healed in the name of Jesus. But there are two types. There are two major types of anointing. We have the ceremonial type, which is the physical. In the New Testament, the Greek uses the term alepho nine different times in the New Testament. In the Jewish culture, the dead is anointed. For they believe that the spices used in making the anointing oil has the potency to preserve dead bodies. So, the dead is anointed. So, in Mark chapter 16, verse 1, the women prepared spices to go and anoint the body of Jesus. But when they got there, he had already risen. Secondly, if you receive a guest in your home, the feet of the guest is anointed, signifying that I've welcomed you into my abode. It is ceremonial. So, Luke chapter 7, verse 38. Jesus' feet was anointed by the sinful woman. John chapter 12, verse 3. Mary anoints the feet of Jesus. So, the ceremonial type of anointing, which is alefo, is used in preserving the dead. So, the dead is anointed. The guests are received by anointing their feet. All these scriptures, the Greeks uses a level. That is physical, ceremonial. Meaning that the real thing is there, but this is just a representation of it. The sick are anointed. So in Mark chapter 6 verse 13, the Bible says that the disciples cast out demons and they anointed the sick and they were healed. They used physical oil, but the Greek used alefo, representing the original. It was ceremonial. In James, James chapter 5, verse 14, the Bible says, Is anyone sick among you? Let him call the elders to lay hands, pray for him, and anoint him or her with oil. The Greek used a leaf. So, the dead are anointed. Guests are anointed. The sick are anointed. Why are they anointed? Because the anointing oil contains spices which are medicinal. So, it is believed that when the sick are anointed, the medicinal herbs take effect on the sickness. It is ceremonial. And then, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 17, during fasting, you anoint your head, you wash your face. And so, Matthew chapter 6, verse 17, the Bible used a level, ceremonial kind of anointing, 
the physical type of anointing. But in Acts chapter 10 verse 38 the Bible says how God anointed Jesus. The Bible didn't use alefo but the Bible used a different Greek term. Creo. Creo is the Holy Ghost anointing. So I place before you two types. The ceremonial and the physical and the Holy Ghost anointing. But if Jesus was anointed by Creo, why should I conform to a level? Can you rise to your feet? The real thing is there. People are following after the ceremonial. Why don't we go for the original? But we resort to the ceremonial. Jesus was anointed with Creo. Alefo can be counterfeited, but Creo has no counterfeit. People can copy Alefo, but no one can copy Creo. I pray that Creo be present today in our gathering. Oh, Creo is all over. Hallelujah. People have a level in their backs. They have a level in their backs. A level can get finished, but Creo is unlimited. A level can be locked up in the drawers. A level can be caged in the backs, but Creo can never be locked up. Are you looking for a level or Creo? Raise your two hands up. We came for the original. We came for the original. This is the theology we have. This is the theology we preach. This is the theology for the generations. Creo, Creo, Creo. No more Alefo. People have counterfeited Alefo. But we came for Creo. Rokondo Likanda Likata. Lizri and Ali and Ali Ekabasa Rokoto Likanda Likata Ekapalala Labrata Seke Likanda Likata Indeli Rokosi Apalala Bahata Rokondo Likata 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 Rokoto se keli andali andali eta palala basa Kolobo si ke ataya lelelele si halelelelelelelelele Holy 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 ghost Come and take control Alleluia holy holy Holy, holy, holy God, come, come and take control. We need, we need you.
yes if you have some of the alefo in your bags begin removing them Jesus. you don't need alefo yes Cleo is present here yes. Cleo is is charging the place Jesus oh throw the alefos away yes they are deceiving you yes. throw them away mm. you don't need them if the original is available take your seat Now, the Creo, which is the Holy Ghost anointing, is also of three kinds. Three kinds. Or three stages. The first of the Creo is referred to as the born again anointing. Anyone who confesses Jesus as Lord and acknowledges him and accepts him into his personal life, your spirit is anointed by the Holy Ghost. It is the born again anointing. Now, remember 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23. Man is a tripartite being. Man is made up of body, soul and spirit. Now, what is the body? The body is the container that actually takes the soul and the spirit. What is the soul? The soul is the mind of man, the will of man, and the emotions of man. Now, what is the spirit of man? The spirit is the communication channel between you and God. So, if you don't know Jesus, your spirit is dead. You, you are only operating on the bodily and the soulish level. The day you accept Jesus into your life, now we call it regeneration. It means that your spirit, which was once dead, has now come back to life. So, when we became born again, it was the spirit that became born again, not the soul, not the body. That is why Romans chapter 12 verse 2 will tell you, do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The soul must be kept in check on a daily basis. Because the spirit was born again, but the soul, which is the mind, the will and the emotions, has the tendency to become carnal and to be corrupted by the flesh. Anytime the soul aligns itself with the flesh, even if you are a believer, you become a carnal believer. For the two will now try to dominate the spirit. But when the soul is disciplined and aligns itself with the spirit, then the soul and the spirit overshadows the body which is the flesh and you are called a spiritual person. So, it was the spirit that became born again. Now, once your spirit becomes born again, it means that previously there was no network between you and God. But now the network is opened. When you speak, God can understand. When God speaks, you can also hear and understand. You are born again. The born again anointing is within you. So let's look at 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21 and verse 22. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21 and 22. The Bible says, he anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come. So this is clear. He anointed us. So this is anointing within you. The born again anointing is within you. So if you are born again, you are already anointed. In the Old Testament, it used to be referred to as the leper's anointing. Anybody infected by leprosy is taken outside the city. 
And once you are cured of your leprosy, you are anointed and you are brought back into the community. And so we say, you are born again. At this stage, the fruit of the spirit that depicts the character of Christ begin to develop the fruit of the spirit. So, the believer's character now begins to take shape at this stage. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. How many are the fruit of the spirit? They are nine. So, it is at this level that believers must be grounded and established well. For there is character formation here at this stage. First John chapter 2 verse 27 the anointing you received from him remains in you. This one the Greek used charisma but charisma is a derivative of creo. The same thing. The second stage of the creo is called the priestly anointing. Priestly. For in the Old Testament, that anointing was used for the priest. Anointing for the priest. Priestly anointing. This anointing is for service. But this anointing, remember the first one, the born again anointing is anointing in you. But this priestly anointing, the second stage is anointing upon you. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. So, the anointing for service, which is the second stage, is not in you, but it comes upon the believer. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall be my witness. So it's for service. At this level, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is ignited with accompanying gifts of the Spirit. So, if at the born again stage, your character formation is well achieved, when you are baptized in the Holy Spirit and you begin to show signs of the giftings, you do not become afraid because the character keeps the charisma in check. At this stage, when the Holy Spirit baptism is manifested and believers begin to manifest the gifts of the Spirit, how many are the gifts of the Spirit? They are also nine. So the fruit of the Spirit are nine. The gift of the Spirit are also nine. Nine, nine. A bird can never fly with one wing. A bird can only fly with a pair of wings. Character, charisma, you can fly. So, the fruit of the Spirit depicts the character of God. Then, the gift of the Spirit now is trying to portray the charisma of God. We need the two. If you concentrate on character alone, your church will be boring. You are a preacher. Yes. Your people have character. But your church is not interesting. If you also concentrate on charisma alone, you have a problem. You are breeding serpents and monsters in the church. For there is no character in the church. 
In the Old Testament, the priest wore a garment. And at the hem of the garment were bells. Bells. Now, there were not only bells, but also a fruit called pomegranate. The pomegranate symbolizes the fruit of the spirit. The bells symbolizes the gift of the spirit. But the Bible says that in between any two pomegranates is a bell. So, the fruit of the spirit in between any two pomegranates is a bell. So, the fruit of the spirit guards the gift of the spirit. So, when the priest in the Old Testament is coming, people hear the sound of the bells. But the fruit cannot be heard, but they can be seen. So, we see the fruit, but we hear the gift. Character is seen, but charisma is heard. Now, if you combine the two, our ministers who are here, those listening to us, if you are a priest and you have character, and you have charisma. Oh, it's a beauty and a glorious thing to behold. Because when you are coming, the bells will be tingling each other. And the people can hear the sound of the bells. He is coming. The priest is coming. I pray that as you go to your nation, the bells will begin to knock each other. Let the sound of the gift be heard in the nations. And let signs and wonders follow you. But the character, which is the fruit, can be seen. So you see the character. You hear the charisma. A false balance is an abomination unto the Lord. You don't take one and leave the other. Now, if you are not careful... At the born again stage. And the fruit of the spirit is not developed. You are baptized in the Holy Ghost. You speak in tongues. Sometimes you even exhibit the gift of the spirit. But you can still sin. That is why many speak in tongues. But people wonder why they sin. They sin. You fast for seven days. Immediately after you break your fast, you are looking for a woman to sleep with. Listen. The gift of the spirit are nine. Word of wisdom. Word of knowledge. Faith. Gift of healing, working of miracles, prophecy, discerning of spirit, speaking in diverse tongues, interpretation of tongues. Now, each one is protected by the fruit, two of them. So, we should not be afraid to eagerly desire the spiritual gift, as the Bible said. People are afraid to ask for them, but today we will ask for them. Don't be afraid. All you need to do is that let the character of Christ be developed in you. And the character will put the charisma in check. When you are able to survive the stage two of the Creo, which is the priestly anointing, there is a third stage that many gloss over and many do not even want to go there. In the Old Testament, it was referred to as the kingly anointing for the kings only. This one is an overflowing anointing. But there is a price to pay. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9. You have loved 
righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, at this stage, God becomes customized in your life. God becomes your God. God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of gladness. You cannot reach this stage when there are sins in your life. At this stage, the believer is dead to sin. When you are dead to sin, it means that sin has no power over you. Number two, sin is not attractive to you. Number three, when you encounter sin, it doesn't produce any reaction in you. When you are dead to sin, sin has no power over you. Sin is not attractive to you. When you encounter sin, it doesn't produce any reaction in you. We say you are dead to sin. So, before one can reach this stage, it means that you love righteousness and you hate iniquity. At this stage of the believer's anointing, the person carries the presence of God. I inform you that you can operate at the first stage, at the second stage, even operating in the gift of the spirit, but you may have character issues, character issues. And that is why many men of God are, are all in the news. They have done that. They have done this. They don't have character. Yes, at that level. But you see, when you get to Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9, it is not about what you do. It is about who you are in the sight of God. Who you are is more important than what you do. At this time, when you stand with your companions, there is an aura of nobility around you. Nobody should tell you that this man belongs to God. Then there is another example. Psalm 133. The kingly anointing. Psalm 133. Let's look at how to operate. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. So, the person loves righteousness. The person now pursues unity. Unity of the body of Christ. The person is not interested in division. He has crossed that line. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down the beard, running down Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. Young boys don't grow beard. This anointing is not for boys and girls of God. It is for men and women of God. For young boys don't grow beard. How many of us have beard here? Oh, can you rise to your feet? All of us, if you can, please rise. We are about to pray. <laughs> Whether you have beard or not, please rise. <laughs> Whether you have beard or not, please rise. <laughs> Look, when you get to Psalm 133, you see, the Bible said that ask and it shall be given, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall open unto you. Children are always asking. Sometimes when you grow, you move from asking to searching, seeking. But it, it gets to a stage in a believer's life that when you wake up in, your, in, in the morning and you kneel before him, you know the door of God. 
You don't go about searching any longer. You know the door. You knock and it's opened. Believers at this level don't have time praying, binding and losing prayers. They have crossed that stage. For you are a walking miracle. When you walk, signs and wonders accompany you. So, you don't ask for favor, but favor drops on your laps. You carry the presence of God wherever you go. This is where we want to get to. And he says, it is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. You will be walking and dew will be falling on you. As for the born again level, you are there. But let me sound the caution. We are dealing with the spirit of God. You see, sometimes you wouldn't know whether you are at this stage or not. For it is the spirit's will. Sometimes to even graduate someone from stage one to stage three. And it is amazing. At the maturity stage, the keenly anointing, you can't stand there and follow iniquity. Your anointing will break. That was what happened to Saul. So the Bible says, 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 1, when Samuel was anointing Saul, the anointing oil was in a flask. A flask of oil. Samuel used a flask of oil. But in 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 13, when it was David's turn, he did not use a flask, for a flask can break. But he used a horn of oil. I pray that as you leave this conference, may your anointing come from the horn of oil. You can lift your two hands up. Jesus. Oh. 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 Anointing fall on me. Yes, Anointing fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall.
we, we need to deal this deal with this now you see if you are here and if you don't know Jesus we can't even talk to you about anointing so if you don't know Jesus you need to accept Jesus right away if you came to this conference and you know that you have not believed in Jesus you have not confessed him as your Lord and personal Savior when all other hands are down raise your hands up let's lead you to Christ first for your spirit to be anointed that is the born again stage that is the born again anointing if you have never accepted Jesus if you don't know Jesus just raise your hands up and just receive just repeat these words after me anybody here who is accepting Jesus in the stands in the gallery on the stage just say this I believe that Jesus is the son of God and he died for the sake of my sins he was risen for my justification and so today I accept Jesus into my life as my Lord and personal Savior I will walk with him I will live with him all the rest and days of my life if you have been able to say this you can shout a big Amen so now you are graduating. Oh, one is coming. Please. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. If there are others, if there are others, if there are others, please come. Those of you, yes, come, come forward. Come forward. Grace. Grace is about here. Please come, our sister is here. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Our sister, raise your two hands up. Yes, mama. Yes. Just repeat these words after me. I believe. Yes, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He died for the sake of my sins. He got resurrected for my justification. And so today, I accept Jesus into my life as my personal Savior and my Lord. I will walk with Him all the days of my life. Let the sins shout, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please, if the ushers can help our sister to meet the pastors um, to counsel her after church, yes, please, Mama, you can take her. Oh, clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Now, if you have not been baptized in the Holy Spirit, here is free for all. Please, chair, I want to call them. Please come. If you don't speak in tongues, some of you say, Oh, I am I am baptized. What is the evidence? They say, Oh, I speak in tongues in my dreams. What dreams? <laughs> we want you to begin to speak. Rokoto. If you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost. Just run, run, come, come. Our apostles are here, our pastors are here. Come, come. If you need the Holy Ghost baptism, come. Come. Holy Ghost baptism. You don't speak in tongues. Some of you too, the tongues we don't hear. Mama, 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 mama. What is. What is that? If you don't speak in tongues, come. Come, 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 come. 
come, 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 come. If you don't speak in tongues, come. Come, 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 come. Rokotoli kandali andaliya. Come, if you don't speak in tongues, come, 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 come. If you don't speak in tongues, come. Help to arrange them. Yes, let's arrange them in line, please. Oh, young one, you are the next generation. A prophecy has come on you. Come, come. If you don't speak in tongues, come. even an adult mothers fathers old men old women come if you don't speak in tongues don't deceive yourself that you have been baptized you have not been baptized come with all the joy and the excitement for Jesus is here to do it to do it to do it now Brothers and sisters, please just, just look. There is no mechanical anointing here. I mean, we have passed that stage. When people will be pushing it. Look, no. Who is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost? The Bible says it is Jesus. So, I remember when we were young, our forebears used to tell us, if you don't know anything to say, just mention the name of Jesus. Do, do you remember? They say, if you don't know what to say, just mention the name of Jesus, for he is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. So, I mean, if you don't have anything to say, just say, Jesus baptized me in the Holy Ghost. Jesus baptized me in the Holy Ghost. And pastors, pastors, please, apostles, Please, we are on duty today. We are on duty. Please, come, come, come. Every single one of them must be baptized in the Holy Ghost. We are praying for the grace of God. Oh, there were a time they were locked up in the room. Jesus entered. The Bible said he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. You can close your eyes. Just say, Jesus, baptize me in the Holy Ghost. Jesus, baptize me in the Holy Ghost. Jesus, baptize me in the Holy Ghost. Jesus, baptize me. Open your mouth and say, it. Jesus, baptize me in the Holy Ghost. Oh, you, you, you receive it. He's here. He's here. 
here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Be baptized. Be baptized. Be baptized. Be baptized. Apostles, pastors, lay hands on them. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the baptism in the name of Jesus. 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 Speaking on tongues, speaking tongues. Jesus has done it. Jesus has done it. Jesus has done it. Oh, look at all. Me, Kanda, Liga. In the Liga, the city of the 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 Liga. Now, now we want to know, pastors, you are the ones who laid hands. We want to know. Now, continue speaking. All those who have been baptized, raise up your hands. Yes, raise up your hands if you're baptized. Yes, yes, yes. Speak and continue speaking. Yes, please. Let's count the numbers. Raise your hands if you're baptized. Yes. Help us know the number who are baptized. Help us if you are speaking a language you've never spoken before. You just raise up your hand if you are baptized. If you have spoken a language you've never spoken before, just raise your hand up. Yes. 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 Raise your hand. Yes. Yes. Please come for us. Raise. Oh, clap for Jesus. Now, raise your hands up. Thank you, Jesus. You've spoken a language you've never spoken before. You never learned it. Glory. Yes, 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 yes. Help us to identify you. What about this side? None baptized. Yes. Who else? Amongst the people. Please count them for us. Today is business day. Everyone, 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 everyone. Those of you who are standing and you have not spoken, just 
Ask Jesus to baptize you in the, in the Holy Spirit. You receive it right now. In the name of Just Jesus. Just open your mouth and say, Jesus, baptize me in the Holy Spirit. Jesus, baptize me in, in the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Jesus, Jesus, baptize me. In the Holy Spirit. Okay. Jesus, baptize me. Jesus, baptize me. Oh, yes, come. Yes. Lady, you are baptized in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lokondo. We can't do that. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. He is adding others. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yes, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. Right now. Receive the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He is baptizing you. He is baptizing you. He is baptizing you. Receive it. He is baptizing you. In the name of Jesus. Now, as we pray for the remaining brothers and sisters to receive the baptism. Those of us who are left, we are now praying for the infilling and the gift of the Holy Spirit. They are nine. Word of wisdom talks about the future. Word of knowledge reveals the past. Faith is supernatural faith, not doctrinal faith. Now, gift of healings. Oh, the same envelope, but different packages. Working of miracles. The curative and the creative power. Prophecy. Descending of spirit. Diverse tongues and interpretation of tongues. As you stand in the galleries, raise your two hands. The Holy Spirit is visiting you in Gali Disa in Gali Disa in Gali Disa they will be yours these are the gifts these are the gifts yes god these are the gifts in the name of jesus these are the gifts in the mighty name of jesus these are the spiritual gifts in the name of jesus word of wisdom word of knowledge yes god faith in the name of Jesus. Gifts of healing. Working of miracles. Prophecy. Descending of spirit. Speaking in diverse tongues. Interpretation of tongues. This is your day. Don't live here the same. These are them. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, hands are lifted high, hands are lifted high, hands are lifted high, hands are lifted high, touch lives, touch lives. 
Touch lives. Touch lives. Touch lives. Touch lives. The gift of the Spirit. They have begun manifesting. They have begun manifesting. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. 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 The gifts have begun. Manifesting. Manifesting. The manifestation is here. 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 The manifestation. The manifestation. In the name of Jesus. 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 The gift. The gift. The gift. They are yours. They are yours. They are yours. They are being a working. They are being a working. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Word of wisdom. Word of knowledge. Faith. Gifts of healing. Working of miracles. Do it. Do it. Do it. In the name of Jesus. Continue praying. You are receiving the gift. Not one. Not two. Not three. They are nine. They are nine. They are yours. They are nine. They are yours. In the name. In the name. In the name of Jesus. The gift. 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 In the name of Jesus. So come no locoto. Delicity and Ali Kata. Look, those of you who are here, pray for the gift. The night. The manifestation of the night. In the name of Jesus. Pray. Pray for them. Those of you who are here, pray for the manifestation. The manifestation of the gift. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. With the association of God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Oh yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. He can be desired again. Word of wisdom. Holy Ghost. Word of wisdom. Word of wisdom. Word of knowledge. Word of knowledge. Faith. 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 Gifts of healing. Working of miracles. Prophecy. 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 This turning of spirit. This turning of spirit. This turning of spirit. This turning of spirit. Speaking in diverse tongues. An interpretation of tongues. Easier. Easier, 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 the manifestation is here. Yes. He is yes. still baptizing. Yes, Lord. And the gifts are being manifested. Yes, Lord. You have received. Yes, Lord. The word of wisdom. Yes, Lord. The word of knowledge. Yes, Lord. Faith. Yes. 
miracles. Gift of healing. Working of miracles. Prophecy. Descending of spirit. Speaking in diverse tongues. Interpretation of tongues. You have received them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Le kata li siri andalia, sundo robo poro koto, li siri andalia, andalia. Thank you, Jesus. Koto li siri andalia. received any manifestation you can just come and then inform us we are now praying for healing if the anointing is here the oppressed shall be healed the wounded shall be healed the sick shall be healed the broken hearted shall be healed in the mighty name of Jesus the suicidal shall be healed in the mighty name of Jesus now listen we have received a message that one of our sisters is in coma in another state one of our sisters is in coma in another state with this anointing we are sending the word of God there that the word of God will bring her out of coma back to life in the name of Jesus if you came here sick you are living here healed raise your two hands we are praying for healing pray for healing healing is in the air in the name of Jesus healing is in the air your healing Lord. is in the atmosphere. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name yes, of Jesus. Lord. Our sister yes, who is in coma. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask in the name that is above Jesus. any other name. Come back to life. In the name of Jesus. Come back from coma. In the name of Jesus. Come back from coma. Come back.
have some coma in the name of Jesus. If you are sick, let sicknesses flee. Every sickness, every disease, every sickness, every disease, we ask you, we command you, leave here now. Leave here now. Leave here now. Leave here now. Every sickness, every disease, cancer. Of all times, Jesus. we disintegrate Abos. every cancer cell. Abos. We disintegrate Abos. every cancer cell. Amen. If you came here Jesus. with cancer, Abos. no, 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 receive your healing. Jesus. If you came here Jesus. with stroke, Abos. with heart disease, Abos. with psychological problems, Abos. in the name of Jesus, Jesus. stroke in the heart, Jesus. receive your healing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Receive your healing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Receive your healing. In the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Suka. He's able to deliver. He's able, He's able to, to deliver. Yes. And the bleeding will stop. In the name of Jesus. He's here. 
In the name of Jesus. Jesus. He's here. In the name of Jesus. He's here. 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 Let the whole place be quiet. Be quiet. Let the place be quiet if you can, please. Let the place be quiet. Then as the man of God speaks, just respond, Amen. Burdens will be lifted. Let the place be quiet. Let the demons hear. Brother, we'll pray. Father, we thank you. Amen. You have indeed visited us today. Amen. You have anointed us. Amen. Amen. You have liberated us. Amen. Amen. You have set us free. Jesus' Amen. name. You have poured your goodness on us. Amen. Jesus' name. Those who came seeking for answers in oh, Jesus' name have been given answers in Amen. Jesus' name. Those who came looking for children, yes, yes Lord, have been given children. Amen. Jesus' name. Not one, not two. Amen. Not three. Amen. Four and above. Amen. Jesus' name. Those who came seeking for healing, in Jesus' they name. have been healed. Amen. Amen. Those in coma have been restored. Amen. Amen. Those in sick in their homes and at their hospitals have been healed. Amen. Amen. Those with broken hearts have been healed. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Those with emotional issues and are contemplating suicide are free. In Amen. Jesus' name. We thank you for this move. Yes, Lord. We thank you. Thank you. Let your presence go with us. Amen. We never depart from this anointing. We give you praise. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Clap and sit. Amen. Shout a big amen. Amen. You have done it. Thank you. Amen. Let's be seated, please. Reverend Chair, it's time for offering. We Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. About 86 people received the baptism. That shows that the presence of God is here. That shows that your healing is accomplished. At this moment, we are inviting Elder Dr. Asie Dubuabe to come and help us with the offering. And, but let me lay down this information. Program like this, we don't want to take long time to raise our funds. But your hotel rooms have been paid, but this location alone, this building alone, the chairs, the equipment that we see, we need to raise 350,000. Put your hands together for the Lord. I know we'll be able to do it by tomorrow. Ever. Hallelujah. Oh, you are in.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The young ones are on fire for the Lord. Yes, so. We will give you another chance in the evening. Oh, hallelujah. We want to invite Apostle Yadam to come and pray over the offering. Pensa, pensa. Christ in you. Let us pray. Our most gracious Lord, we want to thank you so much for this privilege of sharing in the greatness of giving. We are praying that you continue to bless your people, bless their businesses, create opportunities for them in the name of Jesus to enlarge their territories, protect their businesses of God. And continue to supply us with all the needed resources financially. We pray that we shall have all sufficiency to continue to abound in every good work. May you bless and bless again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Take some few announcements. Going to break. So this is the end. We're going to end the morning session and then take a break. It's now almost 12 20. So we are coming back for the afternoon session Please. from 2 to 5. I'm going to call. Amen. After the announcement, I'll call Apost Apostle Porofi to come and explain what is going to happen for the youth session from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. At the same time also, we have a graduating ceremony for the new ministers commissioning and some ministers who are also graduating and their wives. So also I'll call Apostle Donko to come and give us how it's going to take place from 3 p.m. to 5. Now the main service for tonight starts at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. prompt. And this morning, you haven't seen anything. Tonight, it's going to be super duper do. So you don't want to miss it. So get some rest and then come. So let me give you the other announcement. Uh, we have our sister, Nana Ejapoma Mensa. A sister Ejapoma Mensa is here. Can I see you? Okay, she has donated about 3,000 handkerchiefs for the convention. You see the Holy Spirit Convention, 300. Handkerchief, thousand, three thousand. She is in the U.S. Army, and we want to bless her wherever that she is. Can we stretch our hand and say, "God bless you richly"? Three thousand handkerchiefs, so that we can wave. Now tonight, from the the chair, we are all wearing the Holy Spirit Conference T-shirt. Uh, from the children to the youth to everybody. So we haven't received yours. Go to the registration desk or room 107 and you're going to get yours. Then also the children ministry, they have a room for nursing mothers. So if you're a nursing mother, please see Pastor Daniel Otu Jerry, and um, he will show you where you can nurse your baby. Then also there will be breakfast and lunch for the kids tomorrow. Trash bags. You can get trash bags from the main entrance as you walk out and take it to your hotel and put your extra trash in them and leave them in front of your hotel rooms to be picked up by the hotel housekeeping staff. Water. We, there's a U-Haul outside uh, the hall on the main street and the ninth street. There's a U-Haul that has a lot of tons of water. So you can go there and get as much as you want and take it to your hotel room. Lost and found items. We have found some items, shoes, bags, watches. Please go to the main entrance at the registration desk and identify your, uh, your item that has been found. Transportation. We are providing one hour transportation service before every service starts at your hotel. So one hour before the service. 
and then 30 minutes after the service, after 30 minutes, there will be no more pickups. However, there's a complimentary city uh, trolley, that green car that goes around free. So you can catch that one also. It's 15 minutes. It uh, goes every 15 minutes. And then also um, loitering and overnight sleep in the arena. The contract that we have with the convention center after 11.59 p.m., everybody must be, uh, must be evacuated. Everybody must leave. So yesterday, some people were still here after even like 2 a.m. And so if they see you, they will drive you away or they call the police. So please, tonight after the service, uh, exit so that they can set this place up for our morning service tomorrow. Accommodation. If you haven't... Uh, uh, got a room, please go to room 107. We have the registration and accommodation there. They will help you with the room. Then also we have literature, Church of Pentecost literature uh, for sale. Go to the main desk and you see the copies of our books. At this point, I want to invite Apostle Portofi to come and uh, walk us through what is going to happen for the youth. And then after that, Apostle Donko will also come in and help. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We want to take this very quick announcement regarding this breakout session we are going to be having. Um, the session is divided into three main units or three main sessions, I would say. The first is going to treat manifesting cutting-edge success in life and ministry. Manifesting cutting-edge success in life and ministry. Now, under this very session, we have four different tracks that will be happening in four different rooms. I will mention the rooms right now so that you will take note and know exactly where you are going. So the manifesting cutting-edge success in life and ministry, we're breaking that down into four different rooms. Room 121A, room 121A is going to host Spirit-Inspired Creativity for Winners. Spirit-Inspired Creativity for Winners. Room 121A. In case you have passion for creativity, that room is going to handle how the Spirit of God will inspire us so we can be creative and innovative in what we do in terms of our career, our life, our ministries. The room 114 is going to handle the subject how, how to overcome all spiritual addictions, all spiritual addictions and depression. Now, in this room, all of our young people who are craving for more prayer, there is something happening in your life that you want to learn more and you want to spend more time in the presence of God. That room is going to have a keyboard, is going to have people who will be ready to counsel you, speak to you, teach you, and there will be a time of intensive prayer as well. Then we are going to have track three that is going to handle building a mission-minded generation. It is our passion that all our young people will develop passion for missions, passion for missions. So that room is going to also handle that subject. Those of you who went with us to Trinidad and Tobago, we know you are sharing your testimonies all around about how transforming that experience was for you. We encourage you to join that session that is going to handle uh, building a mission-minded generation, missionary stories and practices, room 114. Then meeting room 121B is going to treat spirit-driven youth ministry, responding to moralistic therapeutic deism with robust pneumatology. It's too many words. I'm sorry for that. Um, so that room is going to handle that subject uh, for all youth leaders, all youth leaders. So now, let me uh, finalize this session by saying that all of this is happening from 2 to 3.20. 2 to 3.20. Manifesting cutting-edge success in life and ministry. 
And then PPN is also going to be handling manifesting excellence across generations. Now, they will be treating different subjects that has to do with your various careers. For example, there will be an academic excellence panel that is going to meet in room 121D. Room 121D, an academic excellence panel. So all of our young people who are craving to excel in your academics, that is a session for you. That is a session for you. We're going to have the professional excellence panel that will be happening in room 121E. 121E. All professionals, 121E. And you're going to be handling professional excellence. And this will be happening, like I said, from 2 to 3.20. 2 to 3.20. Now, those of us that are itching to know more of apologetics, vocational apologetic panel will be meeting in 113, room 113, room 113. There you would have our theologians handling the difficult issues of gender equality, same-sex unions, and alternative lifestyles, relativism, and absolute truth. Apostle Mbayani and his team will be in that session to help us. So if you are craving for more knowledge in that area, how you can defend your faith on campus and in the workplace, that is the room and the session for you. Now, when all this is done, all these four, five breakout sessions are done, all of our parents and the youth, we are coming in here at 3.30 for an intergenerational dialogue. Yesterday, our dear father and chair emphasized the place and the importance of the home and said that all of us are products of homes. We are made in the home. And so we will come back here to treat the subject of the home, how we can relate to each other better. Now, the reason this is so critical and so important is that unlike when you are in, let's say, um, Ghana or Nigeria or Sierra Leone or Liberia, where the culture is homogeneous, over here, we are not dealing only with the one culture of our home country, but we are also dealing with the Western culture. So there's a lot of battles that we are dealing with in our various homes, not only generational gap issues, but also cultural gap issues. This panel is going to handle that in this very auditorium. You don't want to miss that. We want to create the right bridge so that the fire of the Holy Spirit can be passed on to the next generation. How many of you are excited for that? Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I think that's what we have now for the session that we'll have over here handling that. The topic is a special youth retention session, passing the Spirit's fire into the next generation through effective cross-cultural parenting. So come and let's have this dialogue together. God bless you, and thank you for your time. Well, PBS is here. Um, we are going to have our graduation ceremony this afternoon from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. right here. What is going to happen is that we're going to graduate our students um, uh, for the ministers in diploma in ministry, um, then diploma those uh, lay leaders who have also undertaken their courses in diploma in lay leadership. Then we'll also graduate those who did the certificate tracks studies. Uh, that's our ministers' wives who did the ministry uh, work uh, course in um, ministry, and then the youth campus ministry, um, certificate tracks, women ministry, children ministry, men's ministry, and evangelism ministry. Um, two o'clock sharp, all the graduating um, classes will meet right in front of this auditorium, and then we'll do the robing and also all the other things that you need to know, and then we'll match in. Uh, when we come, you'll be seated right here in this two um, middle seats, and then all the other family members, friends, and members of the uh, congregation who wants to join us will be here. Um, the chairman will be officiating with the IMD, uh, they'll be seated here with the leadership. Uh, the faculty, we have also prepared a place for you uh, to sit. 
I, will, I know the youth ministry have ar arranged to meet here, uh, but their meeting will be after the graduation. Um, please, uh, we have a display out there for PBS, and so if you want to take a course in any other area of ministry, uh, chaplaincy, or we have track sessions that run for six uh, weeks per course. The tracks are four. Um, the courses are four in each track. So, for instance, if you take the uh, uh, women's ministry or chaplaincy, it's uh, four courses that run six weeks, six weeks, six weeks. And then within six months, you should be done with the track. Uh, the certificate courses, the certificate courses go for one whole year. And so, um, but it's rolling. So when you, we've started the first one in um, June, that will end next year, June. We'll have another one starting in the fall. That will end next fall. Then we'll start another one in spring. That will be January, and that will end in January. So if you are interested in getting trained, please um, go to our table, and then you'll get some information about the school. Thank you, and God bless you. Counseling services is available. If you need any form of counseling, please go to room 112 and we have um, ministers there who will help you. Room 112. We want to invite our Mother Mary Arthur to come and pray. After that, the chairman will give us. The Spirit has come forever to abide. I have Pentecost in my soul. I said, The Spirit has come oh, forever to abide. I have Pentecost in my The God of all flesh. The God of all grace, the God of all power, this afternoon we are grateful of a truth. You are the baptizer of the Holy Spirit. This afternoon we are thankful unto you for such an awesome and refreshing time that we have had. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus, even as we have caught this fire. We are confident that every burden is rolled away. Every yoke is broken. So we are living here as victims, not a victim. Father, we are thankful. We thank you for the instrumentality that you have used to minister your word unto us. We pray that, oh God, any virtue that has gone out of him, may you replenish him. May his head never lack oil. And whenever he stands before your people, Father, may signs and wonders follow his ministration. Father, we thank you for the exposition of your word. And as your word tells us that at the entrance of your word, bring light. So we are moving in this light. As we are going, we pray that, O oh God, may we walk in this light. May the fire continue, O oh God, to remain in us. May you continue to ignite the fire in us so that our life will never be the same we are trusting you that you will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask and imagine and at the end of this conference ah we will have a testimony to say that indeed the lord has visited his church we bless you we honor you for answered prayer in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen now may the lord bless you May he keep you. May you remain under this grace and anointing. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and of the Spirit. Amen. God bless you. See you in two hours.
Bum nam to 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 hey. 